Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It's November 9. Paul wrote to the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 5, You are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of the darkness. Sometimes you don't have a choice. When the sun sets at 10 minutes till 5, it's dark. But I think Paul's referring to more than standard time or daylight savings time. Many of the days throughout our year uh, have been given a special meeting. Uh, you know, you've seen these on the calendar, ice cream day or donut day or dog day or cat day. You know, you know what I mean. So many uh, of these have been designated that I read recently that Congress has uh, said they will not approve any more designations for these types of days. Now, we're certainly in favor of observed days. For example, Independence Day, Veterans Day is this Thursday, day after tomorrow. Thanksgiving Day is coming in a couple of weeks. Those days, uh, we, we certainly want to honor uh, those uh, individuals or those uh, circumstances and the things that have happened and celebrate uh, those events. Some holidays are celebrated mostly at night. Halloween, we just came through Halloween. New Year's Eve, it seems, that's a nighttime celebration. And we also see that those days, those holidays and the celebration of those holidays kind of have a tendency to emphasize partying at night or even sinfulness. Now, Christmas Eve is an exemption, I hope, um, emphasizing Christ's birth, the real reason for the next day, the real reason for Christmas. When we read Scripture, Darkness can be a term that refers not only to absence of daylight when the sun sets and goes down, but also to the absence of moral light in the world in which we live. And it certainly is that. We see that in our society today. The Bible has many references that make this connection between light and righteousness versus dark and sinfulness. Uh, let, me, let me give us a few. Here's a couple of scriptures. Romans chapter 13 and verse 12. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. That's Romans 13, 12. 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 7 and 8. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are drunk, are drunk in the night. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Again, 1 Thessalonians 5, 7 and 8. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Let's jump down to verse 13 in Ephesians 5. But all things that are reproved are made manifest in the light, for whatever does make manifest is light. Let's read one or two more here. Col Colossians chapter uh, 1 in verse 13. All who have trusted in Christ, Paul says, have been delivered from the power of darkness by our Heavenly Father. Back to Ephesians. I know we read Ephesians um, chapter 5 and 11. I, I want to read verse 8 here. You know, I think it's completely irresponsible for, uh, for, for children of light to behave like children of dark. Paul said, to the Ephesians in chapter 5 and verse 8, you were sometimes in darkness, but now you are in the light, in the Lord, walk as children of light. So he says, don't go back to, to what you came out of. We may not have a choice about daylight savings time or how early the sun sets. I think every year there's a conversation about stopping that. We don't have a whole lot of choice in that, probably. We, we don't determine when the sun goes down, but we do have a choice to live in the light of the Lord and serve him. Let's choose to live in the light and not live in darkness. Paul, uh, John rather said, 1 John uh, chapter 1 and verse 7, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That's a good word. It's God's word. What will you do with it today? Let's take a minute and pray here. Father, we thank you for the light. We thank you for Jesus, the light of the world, he told us he, we, that we were the light of the world. We shine brightly in a dark place. Help us, Lord, to do that, to be effective, have an impact in our world, and uh, let the light shine. We thank you for your faithfulness to us. Help us to be faithful to you. Lord, bless your people today. Strengthen your people to do the work that you've called us to do. Lord, you have a plan. You have a purpose for us on this day, and I pray that we would uh, know, your, know your word, know your will, and be obedient to you and please you. 
We thank you for strength for your people. We thank you for health and healing. We thank you for taking care of us the way that you do. I pray blessing on our homes and families, Lord. Watch over us and keep us. Help us to walk in the light. In the name of your Son, amen. Praise the Lord. Good to be with you for a moment this Tuesday morning. We won't have a video tomorrow on Wednesday. We have Bible study. We have prayer. 7 o'clock in the sanctuary. I hope you can come out and join us. We meet for an hour. Uh, I, I believe it's encouraging. I hope you find it encouraging. If you, encouraging. If you can make it, uh, I'll be glad to see you. Have a great day and God bless you.